the wild card available to issue more stimulus checks. Also, why some of you haven't received your money from the IRS quite yet, and why some of you are actually going to be receiving even more money from the IRS starting in May. Let's talk through this. But hey, everybody, welcome, and thank you so much for joining me as always. If you happen to be new here or if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I am your daily advocate. I'll keep you updated, answer your questions, and do whatever I can to help you out through this time. Thank you so much. Let's go through these one at a time. So for those of you who filed a tax return or simply haven't received your stimulus check yet, the IRS has recently announced that they are backlogged by 29 million tax returns. <laughs> that is a ton of tax returns that they still need to process. At the same time, they have 5.3 million tax returns from 2019 that still haven't even been processed, and they still have 4.3 million tax returns that have not been processed simply because they have errors on them. Again, that is so many tax returns. They are really, really backed up right now. So if you're somebody who filed a tax return to claim maybe your $600 stimulus check or your $1,400 stimulus check that maybe didn't arrive, well, this could explain it. In fact, they went on to say that they have had a huge, huge influx of phone calls over the last couple of weeks here that they've only been able to answer one in every 50 calls that have come in to the IRS. So if you're still waiting on your, your stimulus checks, the 600 or the 1400, just recognize this could be the reason why. At the same time, the IRS announced just the other day that in this latest batch of payments that went out of the $1,400 stimulus checks, 600,000 of those payments were issued to Social Security, SSDI, and SSI beneficiaries. So if you're still one of those people waiting, hey, maybe it's coming within this latest batch that was sent out. 2 million payments were sent out, but 600,000 of which were those people who I advocate for you right here on the channel. Social Security, SSDI, VA, survivors, SSI, all of you, low-income individuals. So I got you. Don't worry. I'll keep you posted with everything I find. Also, next, why will some of you actually be receiving more money from the IRS starting in May? Well, let's run through this quickly, and then we will talk about the wild cards for more stimulus checks. So here's what it is. If you received unemployment benefits in 2020, there was that provision that was added to the latest stimulus package right at the very end as it was working its way through the Senate. And that is, they were making the first $10,200 of unemployment benefits that you received in 2020 to be non-taxable on the federal level, provided you earned under $150,000. So I would imagine that's the case for probably most people here. Honestly, it's the case for most people walking around out in the world. There's not that many people that earn over 150 grand. So anyway, if you're one of those people who received unemployment benefits in 2020 and you already filed your tax return and you paid taxes on the 10,200 of unemployment benefits, check it out. They're going to automatically process a, um, an amendment to your tax return, the IRS, and they're gonna send out those refunds starting in May for single filers. Now, if you're a couple and you, re and you received unemployment benefits in 2020, they're going to be filing those amendments in June and over the summer, and they'll be sending you out your necessary refund starting in like June and over the summer. So if you're waiting on, um, you know, if you received unemployment benefits, you're gonna get a surprise either in your bank account or in your mailbox over the coming months here. It's gonna be like another stimulus check basically in your bank account. Pretty cool. It's not going to be the same as 1400 but it'll be probably at least $1,000 plus. Pretty cool stuff, right? That's awesome for those of you who um, receive those unemployment benefits. Anyway, now let's talk about the wild card. What are the actual wild cards that are on the table right now that Democrats have where they could actually issue more stimulus checks and they wouldn't really need to do much about it. I mean, they have these wild cards available to them and they can use them. What is it? Well, with this last stimulus package that was uh, passed just a couple, well, a little over like a month and a half ago by now, it, it really wasn't that long ago. The, with the one that contained these $1,400 stimulus checks, they actually used the budget reconciliation process to get that package passed through. Well, hey, check it out. Democrats actually have 
two more options to use this budget reconciliation process to get bills through within this fiscal year. The fiscal year ends the end of September. So the new fiscal year starts October 1st. Well, between now and then, they can technically pull out these magic cards or these uh, <laughs> these wild cards and use them to push through bills with budget reconciliation. So with that being said, I know that I've been seeing a lot of comments down below saying, we're not going to get a fourth stimulus check. It's not happening. Republicans will never go for it. That's probably true. Just being totally honest, that's probably true as far as Republicans maybe not supporting it. However, Democrats, if they really wanted to, they could put up anything. Basically, they could put together another forced stimulus check, jam it through in another package called the American Families Plan, otherwise known as the... Um, the human infrastructure plan that's going to be unveiled here in the next couple of days. And they could put stimulus checks in there along with recurring payments and they could jam it through with um, budget reconciliation, just like they did this last one. And it could, it could be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, done deal, stimulus checks on the way. You get what I'm saying? So I see the comments down below saying it's not happening. Well, okay, I appreciate that and I get it. I get what you're saying. But at the same time, based on everything that I'm finding and the research that I'm finding and everybody backing up fourth stimulus check, like a, a fourth stimulus check and recurring payments, I'm very confident that there's going to be a fourth stimulus check. In fact, I don't really know about recurring payments, but the way that it's looking, there's actually a pretty good chance that we could be receiving recurring stimulus checks going forward within the next proposal. You never know, seriously. So when this new infrastructure, this second portion of the infrastructure package is actually released here over the coming days, we will have to see what they start putting into this thing after the official outline of the proposal is actually released. Um, what's actually kind of side note, if you saw my last video or the one that I uploaded uh, yesterday, I talked about the bet that I made because I want to be able to like give away $10,000 here on the channel. But seriously, I'm so confident that there will be a forced stimulus check. I'm doing what I can to give away $10,000 to all of you just to be like, hey, check it out. I'm pretty confident that there's going to be another one. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I will certainly keep you posted <laughs> as we work through that process to get you your 10 grand that I'm going to be giving away here. So anyway, um, we'll have to continue watching this. But yes, I think forced stimulus check is absolutely, it's not a done deal. So I can't say it's a done deal. But fourth, the fourth stimulus check is very highly, highly, highly likely as well as recurring payments. And like I've said in other videos, and I'll make other videos talking about this as well, but there's a couple different proposals on the table right now for the fourth stimulus check, and even better, the recurring payments that could be so incredibly helpful for so many of you right now. But anyway, I came across a bunch of this random information here, like I talked about the missing payments and the 10,200 and these wild cards. Anyway, I wanted to put it together here in a really quick video and just kind of present this to you and just be like, here, here's a bunch of random information. None of this was really worthy of making its own dedicated video. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna put it all together in one and jam it through here as quickly as I can possibly say all this stuff and then to <laughs> deliver it to you. So that's basically what this is. It's kind of like a, um, a mismatched uh, a video here, but I wanted to bring this to you because I thought this is important information, but yet not worthy of its own video. Get what I'm saying? So I want to continue to provide as much value as I can. If you're somebody with unemployment benefits, you do not need to take any further action, but rather just continue waiting and you should get your automatic refund for any taxes that you paid on your unemployment benefits back in 2020. That'll be pretty exciting. It should be a pretty nice amount of money when you get it into your bank account here over the coming um, about month, month and a half, two months, three months or so, depending on your actual filing status. Either way, pretty cool stuff. And if you're still waiting for a stimulus check, the 600 or the 1400, the best thing I can say is continue watching for it. Hopefully your payment was issued in this last batch within that 600,000 payments that went out for Social Security, SSDI, SSI, and uh, survivors beneficiaries pretty cool, right? Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. And just remember, I'm your one and only daily advocate. I should get a shirt or something made up that says, I'm your one and only. <laughs> it sounds like a Valentine's Day shirt, right? I'm your one and only. <laughs>
<laughs> we won't do that, seriously. But it's just kind of fun to think about. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. You're amazing, truly. This community is so awesome. Corey and I just love every single one of you down there in the comments section and watching here. We read through your comments and we just love connecting with you. So thank you so much for your support. Truly, you are amazing. You are what makes this community as special as it really is. So thank you so much. You're awesome. We are always here for you in any way that we possibly can be. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.